Hey guys, so um, right now I'm going to show you how to do a PCV for a patient that came in um, feeling a little under the weather. His name was Campion. Um, so this is the blood tube, the EDTA tube that we have is blood in. I'm just going to invert it a couple of times so that way we make sure the blood is well mixed. I'm going to get um, a microhermaticrit tube. Um, and this one is heparin filled. You can tell with the little red lining right here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, and what I'm going to do, just that way it's balanced, I'm going to do two of them. But what I'm, I'm going to do is, um, a little different from my other ones, is I'm going to fill one in at a, at a time, just so that way I get a better grip of it. So I'm removing the tube. I'm going to go ahead and fill this one up. And the book says fill it up three-fourths of the way. So that's the way I'm going to fill it up. Okay, when I feel like that's, I'm going to get a little bit more in there. Okay, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to put it into the clay stopper. Okay, and that shows that it has a stopper so that way it doesn't come out. And now I'm going to put it in the little, um, this is called a crit carrier. This is what I'm actually going to spin it in the auto clay, in the centrifuge. And I labeled it already, so I'm going to put it in the one. And I'm going to do another one, so that way, um, since the centrifuge has to be balanced, I'm going to put one in this one, so that way it goes on either side, and so it is balanced. Okay, so I'm going to do the same procedure again. Oh, well, you know what? I'm actually going to leave this out, just so that way I can see the measurement and I can compare it. Gonna put it right in there. Okay. Okay, get the blood tube. Okay, I'm gonna fill it. I'm gonna compare that. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to compare that. That's actually right on the spot. Okay, I'm going to stick it in the clay. Good, it has a nice stop in it. I'm going to just place it right here. Put that lid back on. Okay, so now that I have my two samples, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the crit carrier. Okay, I got those. Now I'm gonna go to the autoclave and go spin them so that I can get my PCV as well as my total protein, okay? So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back whenever I get to the autoclave. Okay, you guys, so I'm here in our treatment room. I'm right here at our autoclave station. Um, I'm about to put the samples into the, I'm sorry, into the centrifuge, the centrifuge station. I'm about to put the um, microhematic tubes in there to get spun. I do want to note that it says it needs um, 5,000 RPMSs at a time of 8 minutes. I hope you can see that clearly. So, right now our centrifuge is um, programmed at um, 3,010. So, I'm just going to go ahead and change that. Change that to 50. And I'm, I'm going to lower this to 8. Okay. Open that up. Sorry, I'm going to put it in right now. I'm going to put it in directly across from each other. So I'm going to put it in the third one. And the one right across from the third one, which is number seven. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. Okay. I'm a... Okay, I'm running that right now, and I'll be back in approximately eight minutes and then I'll go ahead and show you how to do the PCV and get the total protein okay I'm gonna pause the video now okay you guys so um we went ahead and spun down the blood for um campion and um I got a nice um nice little tube so now I'm gonna place it on this easy reader 
And the way you do it is you place it right here in this little slit and then you um, match up the plasma, the top of the plasma to 100% and then that will give you the PCV for um, for Campeon. Okay, so I'm going to put it on here. Okay, now I'm going to roll that. Okay, and for Campeon, I have his... PCV at 42. So I'm going to go ahead and record that right now. At 42. And then um, I would divide that by 6, and that would give me the estimated red blood cells. I don't have a calculator on me right now. But I will do that after and I'll, I'll see what that is. I believe it's 8 if my math is right. Mm, okay, now I'm going to get the total protein. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the tube. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, right here, this is the Buffy coat, that little area. So I need the plasma. So I'm going to break it above that Buffy coat. And then I'm going to kind of like shake the not really shake just kind of um agitate a little bit to where the liquid does come out and lands on the refractometer let me just clean this i'm just going to make sure it doesn't have any values okay okay so i'm gonna break it right up of the buffy coat and now i'm gonna try to get this liquid onto the refractometer okay okay I got that in there I'm gonna look at it and I'm getting a total protein of 7.4 so I'm going to record that okay I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to go get a calculator, and I'll tell you what that estimated red blood cell count is, okay? Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and <laughs> grabbed the calculator. So I was off by 1, so um, 42 divided by 6, that gives you a 7. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, some wedge smears. So first I'm going to start off with BG. BG is a heartworm positive dog that has a chronic cough. Um, so first I'm going to get my clean slides. I'm going to label one. Okay, I'm going to invert the, the EDTA tube several times just to make sure that it's well mixed. I'm using two wooden applicators to get the small, a small drop of blood. I'm going to apply it close to the frosted end. Okay. Now I'm going to use another slide as a wedge to make the blood smear. So I'm going to angle it at approximately 30 degrees. I'm going to pull back and let the blood fan out. Now I'm going to push forward with um, steady speed and pressure to create a feathered edge blood smear. like it. I'm going to let it, I'm going to fan it for a little bit so that way it air dries. I'm going to give it about 30 seconds so I'm going to press pause on the video. PG's blood smear. So now we got to stain it. What we have available in my clinic is the Diff Quick. It has three stains. Um, the first one is a fixative, then the second and third one. I'm going to dip it for 30 seconds in each one um, and in between dips I'm going to rinse it with distilled water. 
Okay, I'm putting the clip in. Okay, putting them for 30 seconds. I'm gonna pause the video while it's um while it's in the dip, and then I'll res resume whenever I rinse it with distilled water. Okay, it's been 30 seconds, so now I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna rinse it with distilled water. Okay, close the first dip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip in the second one. We'll wait 30 seconds. I'll pause the video while it's... Okay, it's been 30 seconds, so I'm gonna take that out of that one. Now I'm gonna gently rinse it again with distilled water before I put it in the third one. Put the cap back on second okay okay we're gonna wait 30 seconds I'm gonna pause the video while it's staining yeah okay it's been 30 seconds and so I'm take it out of this one and I'm just gonna gently rinse it one last time okay now I'm gonna let it air dry before I go to the microscope and look at our um, blood smear I'm going to go ahead and set it in there. Okay. So I um, set it in. I got it on high power. I'm going to go ahead and scan the microscope right now. Um, scan the slide. I'm going to go ahead and just see. Look at all the cells. Okay. Found the feathered edge. See the mono layer. Okay. Now that I found the feathered edge in the mono layer, I'm gonna go ahead and find my foot of view that I want to go ahead and start counting on. Okay, I got it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the drop of oil. I'm gonna look under the, in the oil immersion lens. Okay, I see my lens. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start counting them. I'm gonna I'm gonna press pause in the video while I count them, and I'll give you the results right now. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and counted, and I got 81 neutrophils, two banded neutrophils, 14 lymphocytes, and three monocytes. Um. And then I also, I, I'm going to go ahead and now scan for platelets. I'm going to look at 10 different fields. And um, I'll be right back and give you that number, okay? Okay, guys. So I went ahead and looked at the um, 10 different fields of you. And um, I noticed this one kind of had, um, had a lot of um, platelets. When I counted it, the lowest number was 15. And then the highest number was 31. Okay, so I'm gonna do 15 to 31. I'm gonna record that. Um, okay, for the red cell morphology, I got a slight anisotisosis. And honestly, I see a very little bit um, crenation. So I'm gonna just put slight crenation. Um, other than that, everything else looks great.